The alleged crypto investor James Jong stole bitcoins that at one point were worth more than $3 billion. Then he hid them in his house, some in the bathroom closet in a popcorn tin. Zhang had illegally obtained more than 50,000 bitcoins and kept them hidden until the American Justice Department caught on to him. How did he do it? And what can you do to keep your crypto safe? Zhang stole the money from an illegal marketplace on the dark web more than a decade ago. Silk Road was known for money laundering and trading with illegal drugs. All payments were done with Bitcoin. The platform was shut down by the FBI in 2013. According to authorities, James Zhang registered nine fake accounts on Silk Road in September 2012. He deposited anywhere from 200 to 2,000 Bitcoins in the accounts and then spammed them with withdrawal requests, sometimes sending up to five in a single second. This tricked the site into returning several times what he had initially deposited. To be more precise, repeating the procedure about 140 times, he took all of Silk Road's Bitcoin resources, which were 50,000 Bitcoins at any given time. Zhang then stored most of the Bitcoins in so-called code wallets, making it nearly impossible to track him down. Bitcoin wallets are anonymous per se, and with a code wallet, which is offline, there's no chance to find out where it is. While it's not completely clear how Zhang got caught in the end, one aspect seems crucial. In 2019, Zhang reported a burglary to the police, listing a lot of Bitcoin among the items taken. Obviously, the robbers missed a lot of things, but the US tax agency IRS did not. In 2021, law enforcement obtained the Bitcoins. Now, Zhang pleaded guilty. He faces up to 20 years of prison. Bitcoin itself is nearly impossible to hack. That's because the currency is cryptographic, irreversible, distributed and public. Every new transaction is stored on the blockchain in a new piece of information called a block. Because the blockchain is publicly accessible and relying on a very advanced verification and encryption process, it's not possible to remove a block, for example. One big problem though are crypto exchanges, sites that accept payments in crypto or trade cryptocurrencies for other digital or conventional currencies. In October 2022, Binance, one of the world's largest crypto exchanges, suffered a $570 million hack. Another risk are online crypto wallets, the software used to store and trade Bitcoin on computers and smartphones. The level of security offered by exchanges and wallets varies, but software systems like these will always have vulnerabilities and therefore be a target for hackers like James Jong. A lot of cyber criminals don't attack traditional banks anymore, but have taken to cryptocurrencies instead. In case you're using crypto, there are a couple of things you can do to protect your your money. There's a very simple rule. You shouldn't treat a crypto wallet differently to how you use your wallet in real life. You never carry around all of your savings in your wallet, right? The same is true for crypto. In a so-called hot or online wallet on a smartphone or a computer, you should only store a small amount of Bitcoin for everyday use. Your balance or savings should be stored on a code wallet. That's the term for different possibilities of storing crypto. The most common ones are offline wallets, for example, bootable USB sticks, but be careful not to accidentally throw them away. In 2013, someone threw away a hard drive storing 7,500 bitcoins just because the owner forgot it contained the cryptocurrency. Worth roughly $7.5 million at the time, today the amount would be valued at around $140 million. You could also use a so-called hardware wallet. They are physical devices that act as a flash drive and store a user's password. Even when connected to another device, the signing of transactions is completed on the hardware wallet. But make sure your personal password is always secure, because for Bitcoin, it is true that if your wallet password is stolen, or if you forget it, there's no way of getting your money back. And then there are multi-signature wallets. Most software and hardware wallets rely on a single signature key, but if the key is lost or stolen, the funds in that wallet are lost as well. Multi-signature wallets require two or more private keys to authorize a transaction, greatly decreasing the chances of the wallet being accessed if lost or stolen. Are you using crypto on a daily basis? What do you do to keep them safe? Let us know.